All right. This is the continuation from our previous lesson on Boolean expression. We finish on sum of product terms. So in this lesson, I'll continue with a second a Boolean expression form called product of sum or also known as max terms expression. Now consider this Boolean expression Z. In these expressions, there are four sum terms. One, two terms, three terms and four terms. Then, it is multiplied or ended together. Thus, this form of Boolean expression is known as product of sum or POS. So let's see how we can construct a product of sum term or we call it max term from a truth table. So we already knew how to construct sum of product term in the previous lesson. Just to recap, we use sum of product term when the output is high. In contrast, for product of sum form, we'll use it when the output is low. Here. So since a product of sum is also known as max term, we can represent it using a large M symbol like here. So for sum of product term, we use small m. For max term, sorry, this is max term. Max term will use a large m. To construct Boolean expression for product of sum, we only focus on a low output like here. For each of the low outputs, we write the sum term of it. Alright, let's see how we can write the sum term for this first uh, term, M0. Well, before that, uh, this is important. Um, this is the way we assign a variable to sum of product and product of sum form. For sum of product like we did in previous lecture, the variable will be assigned as a positive when it is 1 and it will take a, a complement value when the input is 0. For product of sum, like we are doing now, it will be the opposite. When the input variable is 0, it will become the positive variable when the input variable is 1, it will become the complement variable. So, for the first product of sum term, it will be 0, 0, and 0. So, we have A and B, sorry, A or B or C. So, this is the first term. For the second Product of some term here, we have A equal to 0, B equal to 0, and C equal to 1. So, based on this one, supposedly we know that uh, we have a positive A, then positive B, and then we have a complement of C, like here. Uh, this is the third term, and this is the, oh sorry, this is the last term, I'm sorry. This will be a C without complement. Then we multiply or we end all this sum term together to have this standard product of sum expression. So we have four uh, product of sum term and we end it together. So, and we have this product of sum term. We can also represent this expression using max term format based on the large M symbol here. So similarly, we select the low outputs 
and their respective M terms, then we'll have this expression. So we have 1, M0, M1, M3, and M6. Sorry, and we have M, M6. And this one also will be 6. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. So yes, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms here. So this is our uh, max term expression for product of sum. And now I will explain how we can write a standard or we call it canonical product of sum from a minimal product of some expression. So in this example, we know that we have one, two, and three different input variables. Uh, as we know, the canonical or standard form of product of sum has max term, and max term contains every input either complemented or non-complemented. So we will add every sum term with the product of complemented or non-complemented missing input. So in this example, uh, we have one term, sum term here, and this is second sum term. The first term is missing C input variable because supposedly we have three input variable A, B, and C. So we will add C and C complement with it. The second term B or C is missing A input variable. So we need to add A, A bar with it. It will become like this. So A, this is the original expression. So we add missing one, C, C bar. Because a uh, C, C bar from the identity law will become zero. So everything that always zero, everything always zero will be that variable itself. So it won't change the original uh, expression. And the second term is missing A. So we add A, A bar, it will become this one. So when we expand this uh, equation, we'll obtain these four different sum terms, A bar, B bar, C, A complement, B complement, C bar, and so on so forth. So total we have four terms. So we can also write this product of some expression into the max term of expression like this. So how do we get this M0, M4, M6 and M7? As you might be remember, so in product of sum, it will be opposite to sum of product. So every time we have A, this is actually the com uh, zero and we have if we have the complement it will be the high input or one so in this equation we know that a bar is equal to one b bar is equal to one and c is equal to zero so one one zero in binary is actually equal to six so we have six here second term one 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 is a seven so we have m7 and the rest is also the same all right so uh, as the standard expression we can write this uh, product of sum with the term 0, 4, 6 and 7 
this will become our standard or we call it canonical product of some expression. So that's it for a uh, product of some lecture. I hope you can understand uh, how we can actually construct product of some expression from truth table and also from a minimal expression like in this example. So thank you very much.